Hello everyone and welcome to Monster Hunter Ultimate 3 for the Wii U. Yes, a new Wii U game which came out last month. To high praise to a lot of reviewers for its hard gameplay and fun gameplay mechanics. The Monster Hunter series has been going on for a long time now and I decided to pick it up because people have compared it to Dark Souls uh, combat style and, and you know me, I love my Dark Souls so I thought I'd give it a go. So I've been playing it over the last couple of weeks and I thought I'd do a quick uh, preview of it to people who've never played a Monster Hunter before. I've recently just beaten the end, the main end boss of the single player campaign, but the game doesn't just end there, it keeps going. So you come here to the quest carrier and she gives you new quests to go out hunt monsters. So the boss I killed yesterday was, where is it? Not you, not you, not you. Uh, was it you? I can't find the monster. Where is that monster? Ah, this one, the the Seardos. I beat that monster, but I can now go kill it again to get more stuff from it, but ignore that for now. What we're going to do is well, the new urgent quest, which takes me to a whole new area of the game which I've not been to. Because the game doesn't end there when you finish single play, it keeps going by providing different variations of new monster types with different skins so and they also have different abilities as well. So you might be asking what's the point of going out hunting monsters? Well it's to build to gather loot to create new weapons and armor. So this particular armor I'm wearing I got from killing let's do a quick look hunter notes monster list. Where are ya? I can't find you. It's the Royal where is it? The Royal... I can't find it. Ah, there we are. The Royal Lutaroth. I had to kill this a few times to get this armour. Each of the armour sets give different abilities like in other progression games. But it's not all about armour, it's about the abilities to give. So, with this particular armour, I have greater stamina and I can breathe underwater. And it also increases, uh, reduces heat and is good for water damage. That doesn't mean much to you so far since you've not seen the game. But what we're going to do, we're going to go out hunt this monster. Uh, I've not seen this in the area and this monster I'm hunting is a variation of the real Royal Lufdar, which I killed quite a few times. So when you enter a new area, you sometimes get quest texts like this, but not very often. Want to know about high ranking quests, eh? Well, look at you, no one better at explaining this stuff than me. Anyway, for the high ranking quests, we're sending you to an uncharted area. It's a place called the Misty Peaks in the mountains. It has rivers, mountains, and between those mountains, valleys. Oh, and it has a new monster too, in a hunter's heaven. You're sure to run into new species, but don't worry, they're more afraid of you than you are of them, or uh, not. But hey, overcoming the adversary is all in the day's work for Hunter, right? So get out there and do your thing. So, at the start of a quest, you have around 50 minutes to kill the monster. And you do that by hunting it down. So, at the moment, I'm in the base camp. At the start of a quest, you get given a map. Which you now will see on the map is on the right. Each area is separated into different sections of, like, mini arenas, you could say. And the monster could be in any of them. And... The idea is, if you hurt the monster, it might run off to a different area, so you need to keep tracking it. Uh, have I got any paintballs? Yes, I've got some paintballs. Yeah, so, generally before you go out on a quest, you need to stock up an item so you're ready for the fight itself. So, potions for healing, antidotes, uh, buffs, energy drinks, meat to increase your stamina, and then trapping gear as well, if you want to trap it to get more, more stuff. Then you've got the whetstones as well to sharpen up weapons. But paint, paintballs are important to actually mark the monster so you don't lose it if it decides to run off. So yeah, let's go exploring. I've never been in this area before, so this should be fun. Ooh, dodos. They're kind of cool. Let's kill some. Flash. We dropped an egg. So yeah. 
These are the herbivores of this area. Herbivores generally drop raw meat, which you cook. So as you can see, it's now running off to a different area now. So what you do is generally kill the monster and carve it up for its stuff. And you can reuse it. So as you see, i got some raw meat then. Also, you may notice these two little guys. These are like your uh, companions in the single player. They help by healing you and distracting the boss by taunting it. Very useful for later on against some of the bigger bosses where you need a break to actually do things. What is this egg? Uh, Gargawa egg. I don't want that, so we'll just drop that. Ooh, scrambled eggs. So, also in each area there's like uh, resource nouns that you can uh, go for. So this one has wet stones in it, so that's kind of cool. So, if you need to sharpen your weapons, it's always good to be stocked up on these. So yeah, so yeah, not really useful. Is that a turtle? Can I loot the turtle? No, I can't loot the turtle. Um, you can also capture butterflies by bringing nets with you, which you can use to create items. So, in this game you can combine items. There's 22 pages of com combinations and they all do different things, so very useful. Are you going to try and attack me, Dodo? Okay, you are. That was silly of you. <laughs> yeah. You want to gather as much items in a new area as you can, so you can get used to it. So you can see there's quite, quite a few herbivores around here. Useful for gathering resources and that. Oh, I should actually eat up. So yeah, let's have a raw steak. Nom 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 nom. Mmm, tasty. Yeah, I haven't really shown you much action at the moment because I'm still hunting for the thing, so let's go to the water areas because that's generally where loof doors hang out. Oh, there's some insects, uh, not too bothered about them. Some more mushrooms there. Hmm, he's not over here either. So each of the areas will have different nodes as well to farm, but at the moment we're just going to go hunting for now. I'm going to bore you with the farm. Oh, there's some jaggies. Jaggies are the most basic monster you'll be fighting in this game. It takes quite a few hits to kill them, but not too many. And then you also loot them as well. Yes, he's not over here either, so let's go exploring down... Let's go up the hill here. Let's see what's up here. Generally those things aren't too much of a threat at the moment. Mm, some more jaggies, I'm um, not too worried about that. Let's go over here to area 3. Oh, those cat These cat things are like the neutral monsters of the area and they like to attack you. And not in a fun way either. You can generally ignore them or kill them if they try to because they can steal your loot and distract you from the enemy. Hmm, I guess this guy's going to be in Area 9 then? This is a very scary bridge. I should also mention this was previously a Wii game, but they updated it for the Wii U. Because not many people played it. Ooh, I've never seen these before. Let's kill one. There we go. I guess it will drop more raw meat, these things. Or they drop tusks. Yeah, yeah, more raw meat. Okay, we've only got one more area to go, so area 8 it is. Hmm. I hope he's down here. Ah, there he is. Well, sneaky sneak. Sneaky sneaky sneak. Run, 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 run. Uh oh, see me. Ow! Stupid bugs. So, best thing you could do, try and cut off a monster's uh, tail. By doing that, you get more items from it. Ah, this monster's variant is firing poison. The previous one fired water. So that's not too bad. I can avoid poison quite easily and I've got plenty of antidotes so that shouldn't be a problem. 
I should also mention, oh, when he slams he fires poison out. That's not good. Okay, this guy is big on his poison. So dodge, keep hitting the tail. Do we want to kill it? Oh, I missed. Oh, roll out the way. <laughs> Fighting monsters is all about identifying their patterns like in any boss fight. But there's also small nuances that you can get. So at the moment there isn't much to see other than he's attacking me. But later on you might see him start drooling or staggering. And it means you're hurting him. You can see I just staggered in there a little bit. Cancelled his attack. I can also block with this type of character as well. Uh, there's around, I think it's 10 weapons in the game, and each of them are basically your classes. Each of the classes the, uh, are different weapon types. So you have great swords, long swords, axes, bow and arrows, guns, and they, they identify your class and your attack skills. But that's not the only thing as well. So you've got, there's also crazy support weapons as well, like the gumbo, which fires status shots. And then you've also got the horn, which is your basic bard class who can support the group by playing music. And to, oh, did I roll into that? Nope. <laughs> uh, by ro ow, stop, stop rolling. I want to cut off your leg, your leg, your tail. Uh-oh, roll! Uh-oh, he's rolling back this way. Dodge! <laughs> okay, come here. Stop stop running away. I want to kill you. Or at least cut off your... Your, um, your tail. Yes, not your leg. Your tail. Also, with this game as well, you have to commit to your attacks. So when you press a button, there's no way to roll out of it. You have to wait for the attack to finish. There's also no lock-on system other than you can sense the camera onto the target. As you saw there, my weapon weakened then. So what I need to do, select some wet stones here. You gotta be careful because it takes time. So generally you want to get one of your minions to distract him. Oh, oh I think he's running away. Yep, he's running away to the other area now. So you see we're in area 8 and there's like a halo ring. Now he's moved to area 6. He's going to go hunting for food or sleep. All you need to do is generally chase him over there. I'm just going to kill these jaggies because they're going to try and attack me while I'm facing this guy. I think so anyway. A uh, block. Gotta be careful as well not to get too distracted by these. Because you'll end up dying to one of his major attacks. Cool, cleared them out now. Oh, poison. I think that then I think that's them all dead now. Cool. Let's carry on with the, the loop door. Some weapons are also better at cutting off things, so I like the sword and shield because it's quick and it does status effects, so in particular this one uses water elemental damage. And there we go. Cut off its leg, nice and simple. Royal Luthor Tail. Roll! Ah, bugger. So, you see there, my health bar at the top, the green meter's now flashing purple. So I need to use some antidotes. Thankfully I had plenty in stock on hand. But, say if I came on this mission and I didn't go look... Uh, ...bring in antidotes, I would be slowly dying from the poison. My next goal now is to damage its, like, uh, pink frills. Oh, he's gonna roll. Block. Uh, the Sword and Shield is one of the few classes which can block as well. And if you look carefully now, you'll start to see that he's drooling. It's meaning that I'm hurting him quite a bit. And he's also struggling to fire poison out now as well. Ow. 
in the face. <laughs> I've killed quite a few of the, these monsters before, but not the poison type. So I need to roll out the way when he starts shaking his head. So that's his tell for when he's about to roll. So you have a split second to actually anticipate their attacks. So you see there, I just managed to block them that as well. Still take a bit of damage, but not too much. I've also got to be careful of that body slam, because it does poison. So when he looks back there as well, he's actually trying to tail swipe. So there's lots of little nuances to notice about these bosses. Ow. Wow, that took off a lot of my health then. But Char Char can, Char -char can heal you and so can Kang and Bar. Uh, Kang and Bar's got the, the more powerful heal but it takes longer to recharge while Char Char's got the smaller one. Ow. Wow, that did a lot more damage than normal. I need to heal quickly. So I've got quite a few potions, so it's not too much of a hassle. Oh, are you, oh, are you running away? Oh. It seems to have speeded up a little bit as well now. Oh, dodge. <laughs> oh, wow, he does so much more damage now. Oh, run away. Oh my god! Um, so, you're faint and you get returned to the, the camp now. Wow, I was not expecting to die then. So, if you die, you lose part of your reward for killing him. But you get a second chance to do it. So, any damage you inflicted on it so far, it will uh, still keep, but now it has a chance to go heal up. So what I need to do is heal up quickly and head back to area 7 before he does that. So let's go. So you see he's moved back now to area 7. So I need to get back to area 7 quickly so before he starts feeding. I've also gone to throw another paintball because they wear out eventually. So, let's get a target on you. There we go. Come on, charge me. Oh crap, that's a wall. <laughs> I didn't realise that water was the edge. <laughs> let's throw another paintball quickly. Cool. Oh, supplies delivered. I did not know supplies got delivered on this map. So. In these new missions, you only start out with a map now. So, I'm wondering what the supplies are, if they're like more potions or antidotes. So I'm currently 15 minutes into this mission and I've got another 35 minutes to kill him. It shouldn't be too hard really, but you never know what's going to happen. Hit him. He needs to roll away. Swing into his face like that. So I staggered him a little bit then. You might as also notice that yellow flash then. When that happens, you have a chance of stunning him. And it is kind of hard to do with this smaller weapon. Let's get heal up that quickly. Also, my bar had that little red thing where you can actually recover your health. Come on. What are you going to do? Attack you now. That was a waste of time healing me then, Char. Char. A roll. Ow. In my face. <laughs> Spring. Hit that. And roll. So, he's now trying to escape to another area now, I think. I think. Not sure. Oh, he's rolling! 
Uh, I'm attack. Oh, he's doing that attack. Oh no, he's, he's tail swiping. Uh, dodge. Oh, I thought that was going to hit me then. Okay, he's starting to weaken again, so... Uh, roll. Oh, roll. Bugger. Oh, that's going to hurt. I need to heal up quickly. Uh, dodge out the way quick and heal up. I have to say, I'm enjoying the music in this area. This is new music for the game. Oh, dodge. Oh. What just... Oh, I got... I, I stood on the edge and got knocked into the other area. This is the one problem about fighting the monster on the edge. You sometimes get knocked back into the other area. They need to dodge. Oh, he's going to roll. Cool. And hit him. Oh, and miss. <laughs> cool, and then... Ooh, nearly got hit then. Ah, so you see that I've just knocked uh, some of his frills off then. Okay, uh, let's wet stone up here. Should be fine. I think I'll use the flash bomb now. Because I built some of these for the last boss, but he was immune to them. And I've still got some of these left over. Ah, you see he's tripping there as well. He's starting to get a lot weaker. So, see there, I flash bombed him now, so he's staggered. So he'll start swinging randomly like that and hitting me. <laughs> and I got poison, typical. But this is a good chance to use items because he can't see you. So let's head back in and try doing a bit more damage. Come on, let's get these frills on. Ow. That poison is a nightmare to deal with. Ah, there you go. And you can see his frills have been damaged now. Well, I'm slowly dying of poison, so let's just heal up. But I'm not taking risks because he's doing a lot more damage than normal. Oh, he's now going to the other area now, so we need to chase him. But he also dropped this. If you take these back to the chest uh, before you finish the mission, you get some cash for it as well. I'm not really struggling for cash at the moment, so it's not an issue. Yeah, we need to chase him down. He's going back to his... Uh, he's now oops, having a shower. <laughs> I've never seen him take showers before, but I'll take advantage of his stupidity. Hopefully I can cripple him so I can start capturing him. Uh, hit, hit, hit! I blocked that then because I anticipated his attack. Oh, block! Ow, in the face. I need to dodge out the way here. Block! Well done. Well done me, I can block. Ow, I'm going to need to heal up again. Okay, cool. Healed. Oi! Go away, Jaggy. Uh, other monsters can hit the other monsters as well, so it's not too bad. Come on, I'm going to kill you. Cool, I just staggered him then. He's not going to like me for that. Uh, block. Oh, he, he went the other way, cool. Uh, I need to sharpen my weapons. Whoa, that nearly hit me. <laughs> Oi, stop that. Come on, take some more damage. Why do you have to use poison? You saw the Jaggy got knocked back then. I really should heal this up. Oh, block. Nice one. 
think this poison is doing a lot more damage than it usually does. Okay, dodge. Uh... Fuck. <laughs> I need to heal up quickly. Ah, since I threw the flash bomb behind him, he didn't get affected by it. <laughs> that was a bit of an idiot then. Okay. Uh, use a mega potion. And use an antidote. While it's distracted. <laughs> okay, let's go hit it quick. I think I chose the wrong weapon here as well because he's not taking as much damage as the other Royal Love Fidel would have. Oh, dodge! <laughs> Come back! Oh crap! Crap, crap, crap! Run away! Oh, thanks, Char Char, for the heal. What was it? I can never get his name right. Uh, Hammer bar. Oh, thanks, Char Char. Come on. Block. No, you didn't block then. Oh, poison. Oh, dodge. Oh, crap, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, crap, I'm staggered. Bollocks. <laughs> Oh dear me, this is a lot harder than I was expecting. I thought I, thought I was going to cakewalk this then. Yeah. <laughs> Kill the git. Dodge. Cool. Knocked him over. Go on. Hit him. Okay, need to get out of the way because he's going to attack. Well, I thought he was going to attack. Nah. As you see, my weapon got knocked back then as well. Oh, crap. In the face. Uh, Whetstone. God, I can't believe I've not weakened him yet. Okay, sharpness is at maximum. Okay. Don't run away like that. I want to hit you in the face. Nice. Block. Nice. Just in time then. Oh, he's gonna roll. Ow. <laughs> I failed then. Go up quick, 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 quick. Okay, run out of the way. <laughs> he's coming back. Gonna do it again. Uh, oh, I just. Oh, crap. Right, I blocked the wrong way then. <laughs> Block! Bollocks. I'm gonna die here. Okay, uh, I need to run out of the way quick. Come on, I need to kill this guy. I can't fail here. Great, both my companions have been knocked out. When they get knocked out, they do automatically heal as well. Oh, block. Oh, I'll, I'll just dodge, actually. Just need to kill the guy. I'm not bothered about where I'm hitting him now. So, unless you can block the poison clouds like that. It's generally not advised to do. Oi, come back here. Come on, we 
So I've got 20 minutes to kill him. <laughs> Hello! I guess I could use the armor skin, that could be useful. Increase my defense. So I'm taking a lot of damage at the moment. Cool. Hit him in the belly. Oi! God damn you, pig! I'll deal with you in a second. Oh, shaky cam. Roll out the way. Come on, stop. We need to weaken you. Oh, damn it. Oh, crap. Nearly got hit then. Uh, I need a whetstone. Uh, Whetstone, quick, 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 quick. Okay, he's starting to trip over himself, which is kind of good. Oh, he, is, he seems to have gone a little bit faster now as well. Lock! Oh, crap. Come on, guys, heal me up. Oh, this is going to hurt. That was close. Come on, we need to kill him. Can't see a thing. Beep. Have I done it? No, I've not done it yet. <laughs> Still got a lot more health yet. Come on. Oh, we stole the drool. That's good. Oh, I'm staggered him. Yeah, we're going to do this. Dodge. No, nope. no, nope, he's still not been weakened yet. I'm waiting for him to be staggered. Uh, let's uh, use some. Oh, I ran out of steaks. Uh, let's use the energy drink. Get my stamina up a little bit. I know you. Come on, attack me. Oh, cool. Oh, he's gonna roll. I'm gonna dodge, and I'm gonna jump into his face. In the face. And the leg. How the hell did that hit me? Cool, staggered him again. Come on, we're gonna get this. Oh, I need to sharpen my weapons again. I also need to get rid of that poison. Uh, where's my whetstone? Uh, I think he's starting to get a bit weaker now. I couldn't tell if he was limping then. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the heal. You finally did your job. I'm not sure if I weakened him then, but we'll give it a go. So what I'm going to do is lay down a trap now. The idea of traps is you'll get more ammo if you do it. Come on. Come on, attack me. Come on. There we go. Okay. You throw two trunk... Uh, balls at him and you capture him by capturing him you'll get more loot out of him as well and that's monster hunter ultimate free for you that's the basics of it you come back to town gear up ready for the next quest and go out hunt more monsters it's 
a simple rinse repeat system but with you being able to upgrade your weapons and create new armor you're slowly building up a better character over time it scratches that mmo itch which i've been missing since world of warcraft so and it's all free to play as well and then i haven't even touched on the multiplayer aspect of the game which is fantastic to play with others at the moment i haven't really touched on it much i've just had a quick little preview of it and i can't wait to play this with others because i can see it being quite interesting so I will have a review up for the single player of the game later this week. But for now, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and like the video if you enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Bye bye.